Your watch was telling the wrong time. Pardon me? I fixed it for you. 2007? Yeah. This is the year 2007. Is it not? We believe everything can be translated into numbers. Things are made up of numbers. And mathematics is the key to opening the gate of truth. How is this possible? You use a maths model to forecast the storm, and its results perfectly match what the Foundation recorded. We just worked out the patterns and the number sequences. Close your eyes, Burton. Truth. Reveal itself to you. Truth. <gasps> Timekeeper! Watch out! Who broke the silence? Sanet is in detention. They're planning to sentence her to death. Those of you who agree to the death sentence may remain seated. Who wish to commute Miss Saneto's punishment? Put your pebble into the pot in the middle of the hole. The pure blood arcanist community. The unknown arcanum power. And the obsession with certain knowledge or identity. Sound familiar? <laughs> I take not thought for needless disputes. The percent of the left cabin has been flooded, as well as 75% of the right cabin. The ship cannot survive such a ferocious storm. Timekeeper, we should get ready for evacuation. Hmm, prepare the teleport soft disk. Wait, what are you talking about? Are we going to abandon the ship? These are just some breezes and ripples. Won't last longer than a blink of an eye. Just hold on to the wheel and we'll... Hmm. That sounds like the turbine just cracked. Great. So only two minutes left. A true captain will never abandon her ship. I've sworn to live and die with Rockin' Apple, the second of its name. Then why is it the second? Damn it. Sotheby just bought us this ship. I wrecked my brains to think of all the assurances I could give to get that governess off my back. I think it's better for us to embrace the fact that all things would come to an end, Captain. Sometimes, deserting is to leave for another battlefield. about deserting if it wasn't for you we wouldn't have ended up like this in the middle of the timekeeper we have an emergency the teleport soft disk can't be activated I've tried other contingency teleport incantations but none of them worked in this area neither did the communicator it's as if something is jamming the signal I see. I have a question for you, Zanato. Please, Timekeeper. Hmm. In the field mission evacuation instructions, apart from the part about asking the Timekeeper for help, is there anyone else we can reach out to for rescue?
uh, seriously virgin. <laughs> I see what's going on now. This is a trap! And you are behind all this. It is you who played that nonsense travel note from 1999. And lured us into this random sea in order to torture us, afflict us, and now feed us to the fish! Go ahead. Give us the wicked villain laugh, you manus mole. Quit playing innocent here! I... I don't know. I mean no harm. <laughs> nice try. See what else you got to say when this pirate opens your battery cover and finds Maiden Manus there. Please, do not shake me. If, if I broadcast how to clean kitchen appliances for you now, will it brighten up your mood? Like hell it will. Can't you see? My ship is going down along with my record collection and your battery cover to the bottom of the sea for good! Even John Lennon can't do anything about it now! I'm terribly sorry. I can't see. I could only touch, hear and imagine. How about this program? Lesson 101, the express route to heaven one shouldn't miss. I think it would serve you better. Stand this anymore. My records, my Dr. Peppers, my pirate radio, my rockin' Apple the second. For crying out loud, what have I done to deserve this? Well. She did try her best to pick the music. Though no one is in the mood, I think this piece is not bad. <sighs> As to Regulus's question, we need to slightly twiddle this knob to 1913. This is... The official letter of appointment from the Foundation. Congratulations, Virton. After the long evaluation period and the re-examination, the storm reformation, manpower and discipline has been officially approved by the PAC's Security Council. Team Timekeeper is now a legitimate independent department. You are now granted a more flexible autonomy and independent budget. What was that? Did you say budget? Does that mean the Foundation will buy, uh, uh, assign me a new ship? Unfortunately, independent means doesn't rely on others. I can apply for a ship for you, but it's not guaranteed. Oh, misers. Fine. Not that I wanted an obsolete ship painted in grey a shepherd check. However, the price of passing that bill is to let the Foundation keep its authority to discipline unregistered Arcanists. The Arcanists who have been and will be assigned to the Timekeeper's team will be put through a risk assessment procedure carried out by the Foundation. Those who are in lower risk categories only need to receive primary artificial subnebulism training, while the high risk ones will go to the School of Discipline. But I will make sure they will be registered as members of Team Timekeeper when they enroll. I see. I have only one question. Are you 
you still our point of contact for the Foundation, Madame Z? Yes, of course. Then I have no further questions. Meanwhile, Team Timekeeper can apply for secondment from the Foundation, Laplace, and Xeno if necessary. You can check this file for more details. It stays the same. Keep investigating the storm and Manus Vendicte. You can make your own plans of action. The Foundation only needs a monthly report on the result. You're the first in command, Virgin. Okay. You already have a target, I assume. That base that Manus used to keep its elite house four years ago. It has never been reversed by the storm. I'd like to investigate that place again. So you've been there many times. Well, that'd make a good start for Team Timekeeper. I'll arrange for some people to meet you at the base. <laughs> I think you'll have a great time together. The fog is thick here. <laughs> it used to be the nest of a leech house, a kind of creature resting in valleys with abundant water resources. What's more, it's winter now. Why do I have to be the errand girl? The Foundation wasn't even planning to give me a ship. Miss Sonetto is going through the procedures in the headquarters to transfer herself to Team Timekeeper. Mastruvis and Sotheby are on a break, for they have spent much time and energy clearing the woods and repairing the Foundation Square. Miss Lilia has been given an administrative penalty because she broke into the rehabilitation center not long ago. This leads us to the current situation where only the captain and this apple are able to act freely. What? So in the end was I, the renowned rocking pirate, the only one who didn't cause any damage to the foundation buildings? Oh, I have never felt so humiliated in my life! You're not planning on destroying this place now, are you, Regulus? No, no. Huh? Hey, see who's here! Lilia and a stranger. What took you so long? Fell into a gutter? Hello, Timekeeper. My name is Moisson. My employee ID is SF2760219190823 x I believe Madame Z has told you about me. I am now an official member of your team. Miss Morsel, welcome to the team. Madame Z said you're an excellent tutor in Arcanum. She's too kind to say so. In fact, I have a lot to learn from you. Also, thank you for taking good care of Miss Sotheby. Hold on, you know Sotheby? According to Madame Z, Miss Morsan used to be Sotheby's private teacher. It is a long story. Let Miss Lilia give us an introduction to the base first. As the field operator, she knows this place better. Huh. 
after I got promoted and transferred to the headquarters, those exciting outbound missions have been removed from my schedule. In short, although it's called the base, the only place unaffected by the storm is a narrow, 20 meter long corridor, no larger than a hunter's lodge. My former fellows had already searched this place from top to bottom. Those Laplace dudes had even sent in their lap dogs to search here inch by inch. Found nothing but some excrement of the Alitius and the dog's own poop. There might be some clues that are invisible. Regulus is a specialist in optical arcane skills. Maybe she can find something. A specialist? <laughs> well, I'll take that as a compliment. But, for the record, compared to searching, hiding treasures is more of a pirate's lot. So, if it were up to me to hide treasures in this place... Please hold on for a second, Captain Regulus. The fog seems abnormally thick. Lucky you, they hit the jackpot right away. Hmm, there shouldn't be any ambush in this place. Easy, Miss Regulus. Please carefully retreat to my side. Miss Timekeeper, please cover us. No wingman is needed. Are you here to confirm this apple's expiration date? Hello, Chilemanian. Hold your horses, I'm coming. I thought it was an academic today. Work hard. Shh. I hear something. Talking out calms people down. Radio waves are everywhere. Everywhere. Hey, I'm the support staff. <laughs> hey, I'm the support staff. Haven't you eaten? Wanna watch the aerial stunts? Don't blink! <laughs> Haven't you eaten? Hmm. <gasps> An arduous calculation. Fine. It's happening. A little trick. ВДВ. Сколько побед? Be faithful to the choice of fate. heart is beating so loud? Swallow my exhaust! Everything has its cause and effect. Seeing a 
struggle written in the stars. Hold on, hold on. It was a misunderstanding, Timekeeper. We attacked to defend ourselves. We are not the enemy. We are the investigators from the Foundation. These are our IDs. The base has been deserted long ago, right? What's the purpose of the investigation now? The outside world has been reversed to 1913. We are here to collect the lost scientific devices from the 1970s. Science and technologies are regressing rapidly due to the storm. Those old devices which used to be outdated have become valuable to us. I see. Do you mind us investigating this place? It won't be long. Sure. We are glad to give you a hand if you need it, Timekeeper. Good. I have some questions about the base, and I wonder if you may help. <sighs> so it was just a mistake. Back to treasure hunting now? Let's see what Zeno and Laplace have left here. Mm, infrared shotgun. Oh, Magalev auto feeder. Kato calibrator. Oh, my God! And a full box of Laplace's military chocolate. Vertin, come check it out. This is all good stuff. Solid MREs. Ahem, this pirate with a heart of gold wouldn't mind tasting it for you. I don't mean to rain on your parade, but even dogs won't eat those things. It makes Alitia's excrement smell better in comparison. That being said, to the best of this apple's knowledge, canine animals shouldn't have consumed any food which contains theobromine anyhow. Then can I have it, or not? There is nothing to be worried about, since the captain is not an animal of the Canaday family. Well said, as befits the first mate of mine. Wait a second, Regulus. Show me the thing in your arms. Why? What do you want? Feel like my chocolate now? No, the supply box. It has my name on it. Wow, true. Are there any other Vertin in the Foundation? As far as I know, no one is called by that name but me. Looks like an ordinary wooden box, but these ordinary boxes are always the most dangerous. Hmm, so, turns out we did find something useful in this treasure hunt. It even has Vertin's name on it, like a celebrity autograph. A treasure indeed. 
Incredulous. Wait, don't... No one can stop a pirate from opening her fresh trophy. News of the day. The outcasts held the 11,231st pep rally in the Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. They eventually unanimously passed the principle of dozing in spring, relaxing in summer, slacking off in autumn, and hibernating in winter. Practical Modern Incantations has now been reissued for the 77th time. We are now at the end of the 20th century. This book still remains the number one book on the list of Most Regretful Purchase on Classic Score by The New Yorker. Biographer Erd has recently published her latest travel notes, Roaming in a Peyron, which has started a new round of craze for traveling in the Aegean Sea region. The chief editor of The Voice of the Millennium strongly recommends this book, praising it to be the literary reproduction of the romantic, elegant, and classical dreams, a glimpse at the golden era. Among them, criticisms abound. The Babylonian Review issued a warning that the author's observation of the Apollo star was fatally inaccurate. Self-driving tourists can easily get lost in the Gorgon Current backwash if they do not correct their direction by 3.14 degrees on the Ford Sextant Model T. Time for late night news. What? End of the 20th century. Voice of the Millennium. Is this radio broadcasting news in 1999? Just as I suspected. Since Timekeeper hasn't reported the time of this era to the Foundation, you two, as the Foundation's investigators, shouldn't have known what year this is. In such pouring rain, time is the best proof of identity. Ha! Huh. I get it. Not a bad plot. Ms. Morzon, watch your six. Let us help you. Silence. Just one thing, I will be home by 10 p.m. Look at my back! Take it easy! Hi! Hey! Don't blink! How dare you! Oh, she! Your ending is fated. Handle it gently as expected. Hope I remember how. It's happening. Haven't you eaten? Wanna watch the aerial stunts? Your ending is fake. A little trick. It's happening. Be faithful. Bloody prom. As expected. 
Everything has its cause and effect. Realm turns into reality. The ocean dried and I'm alone again. <laughs> Naughtier than the Foundation's kids. <gasps> Didn't expect them to be clever enough to disguise themselves as the Foundation's investigators. They sure have learned a thing or two. The era of 1929 only lasted for two days. The frequent change of time muddles work and responsibilities in the Foundation, which in turn caused some chaos within it. Luckily, Miss Morzon noticed the signs of it at the beginning. Timekeeper, please take a look at this box. I'm afraid this is what they came here for. This is... The Manus Master used to stay immune to the storm. You must be surprised, darling. But we're old friends. We've talked many times. Oh, let your guard down. A grandma like me won't be in your way. We can talk about me later, when we need to. For now, let's seize the day and take a look at the new stuff that just came in. As you can see, the fog has filled up this place, giving it a little bit of a mystery. If you see it as a magic show, I'm sure the answer to the mystery is close enough to us. Only separated by a piece of red velvet cloth in the magician's hand. Now, darling, open the door and go through it. That's what it's for, as well as what makes it better than a wall. Don't you think? Whether it's locked or not, the door itself is already a sign of seduction. It's waiting for someone to pry into its little secrets. Hmm, <laughs> even eagerly, I suppose. I will explain all of these as briefly as possible. Good news. The analysis report on the mask you submitted to the Scientific Computing Center is now available, Timekeeper. We found the same component in it as the raindrop from the storm. <gasps> this is a component named Asymmetrical Nuclide R by the Scientific Computing Center. Its name comes from the bifurcation structure it presents under the Arcanum imaging. The Scientific Computing Center has also run some tests on the samples of the raindrops you previously submitted. After removing all water, mud, human hair, and dandruff within, 
The remaining unanalyzable component is what we called asymmetrical nuclide R. What a familiar name. But it disappeared right away and we only have a photo of it. Fortunately, we extracted the staple form of it from the Manus Mask. It might be the key to staying immune to the storm. Does that mean it'll be possible for the Scientific Computing Center to develop protective gears which are immune to the storm? Like the Manus does? Seems to be so. A credit to you. The whole center is crazy about it. And I am responsible for passing along the good news on behalf of my fatigued colleagues, who stayed up all night and suffered from neurasthenia. We need more samples. This is a sampling device for asymmetrical nuclide R. It's the one and only. The manual is in the interlayer. I'll be careful. Thank you, Mesma. Don't be. I'm just delivering this for someone else. How do you feel now? I'm sorry about what happened in the rehab center. I'm good. It just helped me further verify some factual information about our canists. It's just... I thought you weren't one of them, Verton. I just heard some spirit lifting news at the hall. Phenomenal achievement, Timekeeper. It's a tremendous breakthrough in our fight with Manus and Dicte. Everyone at the headquarters is cheering. Although, I don't know what this component really is. Is it a kind of ritual? Or a unique substance? That'll be the next thing to find out in our investigation, I think. Manus Vindicte always has more information on the storm and how to be immune to it. We've been trying our best to keep up with their progress. Fortunately, now we have another direction. Oh, and these are the files you asked me to search for. Luckily, the SPDM library has every single issue of Global Arcane Geography since the 1960s. Also, Miss Sotheby accepted your request. Thank you, Senator. With these files and the help of Regulus, that should be enough. you get except for playing dumb, you cunning flower-headed tin box? Speak! Tell us what you know! Like, what were you doing in the Elitiao's base? In what way are you associated with Manus Vindicte? And who put you in that box which has Vertin's name on it? I... I have no idea... And those ridiculous radio programs, end of the 20th century, voice of the millennium and roaming in a pyron. Don't waste our time. Otherwise, we have no choice but bathe you with this bottle of vodka. Jeez, do you really mean that? Anything less cruel? Formalin, of course. I never waste my drinks. Yeah, that's more like it. Huh. 
<laughs> but I... I really don't know anything. I'm just the receiver of signals. Please believe me. When I woke up, I was already in that box. This interrogation won't get us anywhere. Laplace didn't detect any unusual arcane marks on her. But she was there with those manners pawns in that base. Oh, say anything you want, she will still be a solid suspect. Yes, I understand what you mean. But for now, the evidence can't support our speculation. A field trip may be helpful, I guess. What's your plan? Will you come with me? I've informed Madame Z. This will be the first official field mission of our team. Sotheby and Druvis are still on leave. They will not take part in this action. While Miss Morzom will stay put in the Foundation's headquarters as our contact. Wait, a field mission? Didn't we just come back from that Elitial base? Besides, where is this field? The Apollo star we just heard about means the sun. The Ford Sextant Model T is an arcane device produced in the early 19th century. The Scientific Computing Center has one of those as a part of their collection. The Gorgon Current is mostly created in the Aegean Sea, near the Balkan Peninsula. I remembered an Arcanum magazine in the 1970s had a detailed article about this and introduced the circulating current. I read it in the periodical room in SPDM. The current will be flowing backwards every time the Earth is at aphelion and perihelion. This is also known as the current reversal, which is on the third day of January in July this year. And the time in the outside world is... January the 1st, 1914. Are you saying that all those broadcasts are leading us to an actual place. Oh, why? I thought we'd have a nice break after this. Regulus, you've been longing for a ship, haven't you? What if I tell you that I've got you one? Now, hold on a second. Come to think of it, it wasn't the flower-headed radio thingy who tricked me into the Aegean Sea. It was... Vertin! Watch out! The big waves! Let, this is enough! Is u noledin we yeah? Wait, Lilia! Are you sure about taking off in such stormy weather? This isn't a normal storm. Something is attacking us from the ocean! I need to pull it out! You guys go study that whatever instruction right now! Haha! <laughs> I finally got you! Damn bastard! It's my turn! Silence. Hey, is the camera in place? Wanna watch the aerial times? Oh, 
out. <laughs> Need me to get you guys an ambulance? A little trick. Right wind. Wanna watch the aerial stunts? An eye for an eye. A little trick. Feel it pain and know it's regret. <laughs> Intentarlo de nuevo? Yes, I know. Tú decides. A tooth for a tooth. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be shy, mi amigo. Let's dance. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be shy, mi amigo. Let's dance. Now, lunch is too lucky to the city. Time. Ladies and gentlemen. This is no magic, nor any special kind of mechanic. Wish us. What? You still don't recognize me? What about now? Using troops? De subito sera. Well done, Sinetto. Now cut the other halyard. We need to reduce the angle of attack and depower the ship. Roger that. But we can't stay like this for long. Burton, have you thought of anything? It's not working. I've tried different ways, but the Tempest blocked every signal I sent for help. So is that it? We are as good as dead? Wait, there might be another way. I'm sorry, Miss Radio. I need to borrow you for a second. Huh? Field Mission Evacuation Instructions. Article 21. Whenever there is an emergency, the field officer may send an SOS code with their wands through any transmission device with round buttons on it. Any Foundation member nearby will provide immediate humanitarian aid. To send the code, please turn the knob one time to the right, half to the left, and then one time to the right. If you succeed, you shall hear... May the peace be with you. I've never seen this. 
such a tremendous ritual. We are the Special Mission Squad Razor. Please show me your ID. Thank you so much. We are... Oh, we know you, Timekeeper. Even in our Special Operations Squad, you have quite a name. It seems you're in big trouble, huh? We were under attack by a giant sea monster when sailing in the Gorgon Current. Please help us ashore safely. Haha! <laughs> right down to business. Good! Good. I like a straightforward person. All right! William! Todd! Better get a move on! Hold your horses. I'm coming. Shall I ask the enemy for their tactics? Look at my back. Where's the horse? I hear something. Yes, I know. Your ending is fake. Talking out comes over down. Agents have guns. It's called common sense. What? You still don't recognize me? What about now? Hmm. She. As a Wanna watch the aerial stop time? Who is exceeded? Try this. A little trick. Right wind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Need me to get you guys an ambulance? you eaten? Whose well, heart is beating so loud? Your ending is fake. Shh! I hear something. Don't be so furious. It's happening. Agents have guns. It's called common sense. Be faithful to the choice of fate. Wanna watch the aerials pass? Everything has its cause and effect. Realm turns into reality. Don't blink! A little trick. Whose heart is beating so loud? Yes, I know. As it is. Oh? Swallow my exhaust! Stay low profile. I don't want to be shunted to some radical department. Huh. 
Incredible. Is that a full-size Gorgon? I've only read about this ancient sea monster in literatures. Watch out! Its eyes will turn you into stone! There has been no witness report of a Gorgon since the 12th century. I thought the current was simply named after the mythology. Well, it's my privilege to have the chance to fight against it, huh? William, Todd, let's see who gets it down first! Entity should not be multiplied unnecessarily. Captain, I hope you still remember our founding motto. Want to compete with me in speed? <laughs> Have a try, if you dare. Oh, you have guts and I appreciate it. Bring it on! Speed up, my friends. We need to rush back to the Balkan Peninsula for another mission. Everyone, please wait a minute. The size of the sea monster. It's shrinking. Uh, what's happening now? It's gone out of sight. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Not good. It's crawling into the cabin. It plans to tear the ship apart from the inside. Everyone, watch out! Your watch was wrong. Pardon me? Your watch was wrong. Are you talking about my pocket watch? Your watch was losing time, so I fixed it for you. I... I don't understand. Do you mean this is the right time? Yeah. This is the year 2007, is it not? <gasps> You're saying... We're in 2007. Do you know the storm? Is that how you call it? We call it the emanation. The tide of Numa is pouring down from above and converging. It would raise as a tsunami and break the world of matters where darkness abounds. I don't understand. This shouldn't be hard for you to understand. You are also a real number. I am 37. What's your number? I'm Vartin. No, no. I'm asking your number. The scripture says only the people who are still in search of their essences would identify themselves by a combination of meaningless phonetic symbols. Hmm. Well, so you don't know your number yet. Just like Sophia. A 
have you seen my companions? Yes. Are you looking for the integer or the fraction? Or the irrational number? Or the imaginary number? What? Integers are the living example of virtues. Fractions can be understood through specific means. Irrational numbers are the free spirits, while imaginary numbers are the existence which doesn't belong to this dimension of the number axis. Which one are you looking for? I'll ask something else instead. What is this place? Island. What island? Have you seen another island? Maybe another question. Did a biographer named Erd visit here before, in 1999? 1999? Oh, 1999! 1999 is a lovely, centered, triangular number. But I believe this number has been abused in the Doomsday stories. I mean, people are too invested in its meaning. In fact, 1999 is nothing special compared to 1991 and 1993. However, 999 is a brilliant number. It is a Capricorn number, a palindromic number, and the largest three-digit natural number. Sorry to interrupt, but I only meant to ask about Earth the biographer. She'd been here on this island and written a travel note called Roaming in Aperon. Does the name or the book ring a bell? I am sorry. I have no idea about the fragments of matters you are talking about. Fragments of... matters? <laughs> Captain, you should go. This apple's arm has... No! Mr. Apple, stay with me for a little longer. Piss off! Shush! You wicked dolphins! Mr. Apple is not your breakfast, nor are my records! Huh? Isn't that Vertin? Vertin! Are you done with the standing and staring? Come give us a hand! And now, I belong to this set. I'm here for a worn tooth. Who ate beans? The lens. What? You still don't recognize me? What about now? Hey, don't resist. Who is this? Kevin, that. No worries. Time to check my population. Hey, don't resist. Yes, I know. Relax. What? You still don't recognize me? What about now? Thank you for your cooperation.
when it's in peaceful moments. Do the city. What? You still don't recognize me? What about now? The final demonstration. The final demonstration. Now, let me choose two lucky guests. No. Welcome to the world of numbers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is no magic, nor any special kind of mechanic. Wish us. Darlo de nuevo. want to be shunted to some radical department. <sighs> Thank God you are here, Vertin. Mr. Apple and I were this close to being made a stargazy pie by these clever bastards and served to the dinner table. <sighs> You've also been incredibly helpful, Regulus. Is that so? Like how? <sighs> you rebuild my confidence in communicating with people. Have you seen Sonata and the others? No, I woke up on a dolphin's back. Thought they had saved my life at first and was quite grateful to them, but the next moment they just started all the beating and biting. They think you are an irrational number. That's why they bit you. Whoa! This little lady made me jump. Vertin, who is this long-haired stranger? Timekeeper. Thank goodness you are all safe and sound. Lilia is on her way. Now we only need to find the captain and his team members. Sonato. These people are... They are the Apuron believers. They lent us a helping hand after the ship went down. Not at all. An integer is under an obligation to help his kind. Miss Sonetto, have you found your friends? Yes. Only the members of the Razor Squad are still missing. They also belong to the St. Pavla Foundation like we do. Imaginary numbers are not of our concern. Imaginary numbers? You should not linger here if you have already found your lost friends. We will provide a boat for you to leave. Our school of thought does not accommodate uninvited guests. Wait! We have something to... What if we know about the emanation? We are the investigators from St. Pavlo Foundation. We are glad to share the information about the storm, or... The emanation. Please grant us entry to this island so that we can share them. Timekeeper? I'll explain to you later. Trust me. Please, Sonetto.
Come this way. We will talk. However, only integers and fractions are welcomed here. No irrational number is allowed on this island. Throw her into the sea. You still look confused. I know, darling. You haven't even vomited up the mouthfuls of seawater you ingested deep into your stomach. Just relax and lie where you are. You don't have to get back on your feet right away. Usually, yes. Usually, when those drunkards and patients wake up from a coma, just like you do right now, they only have two questions. The first one will help you find out the name of the land you are lying on. And the other will help you calibrate that bizarre watch on your wrist. All right. Now it's finally the right time to make things clear. Open your mouth and throw up whatever you have. Seawater, questions. Just get them all out. Right here. Oh, darling. Why not let it be? You're all on your own now. Don't ask for more when you already have someone to talk to, even if I'm only nagging most of the time. We gotta let the past be the past. Like how we deal with old newspapers. Because all I speak is one simple fact after another. Anyways, we will keep each other company for quite a while. Ah, oh, finally a question about yourself. In front of you is a boundless sea. All you can see, besides the beach you are lying on, is water, water, and water. A cry for help will be drowned out by the waves. And even the strongest legs are tied to the ground here. And cannot break free. See? There's no way to leave. But it's a good opportunity to have an island tour. The locals have good manners. So I think you can ask them to show you around. That's at least better than just goofing off. <sighs> Not even you can avoid asking this question. But a kind-hearted soul already told you that time is moving forward as it used to be. Step by step. So the time is... <laughs> the year 2007. Yes. 
time is back on the right track going where it's supposed to be. Raindrops literally drop again, and no one goes back to the past anymore. Well, some miss the good old days, though. Oh, you still doubt it, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. Don't get me wrong, I'm on your side. After all the hard times I've experienced, if anyone told me that my life was just a boring dream, one neither good nor bad, I would throw a shoe at them. I can tell you are being burned by anxiety. But to find the time you want, we need to comb through the situation. Like how you do with your hair. Time is like a soccer tort, and now it has been divided into many pieces. On the largest piece stands the white chocolate card. Yes, the last good days of the 20th century. The gentlemen are still growing handlebar mustaches, and the ladies have not yet flattened the curves on their bodies. New Money buys one art piece after another to show off their good taste. They don't even mind turning their homes into museums. A cafe named San Marco officially opens, gathering the most outstanding intellectuals and writers of the time. They talk and laugh there as if nothing could stand in their way. Then the cafe receives a neurologist whose briefcase carries the interpretation of dreams, and celluloid film and projectors become a new means of expression for artists. At this point, helmets remain intact in the warehouse. Gauze only works in hospitals. Bullets only fly in the firing range, and the flame that swallows lives is not even lit. But soon, soon enough, the young people who swore to retrieve their homeland will take up daggers and guns to fulfill their oath. Buildings will shake like a leaf, and rocks will fall off and hit the walls. Screams will try to break free from people's throats. And at that moment, a clip will be loaded secretly in the name of supreme honor. The golden age is about to end. A vortex of blood is already swirling in the river of time, waiting to devour everything that passes by. When that actually happens, all the beautiful curves derived from nature, the B-shaped brooches, the punch, the eiderdown duvets, everything will be destroyed, leaving only an insurance contract behind. And it doesn't even work. Even this cafe will be smashed into concrete pieces. See? We have combed the hair now. Everything I just talked about is the time you want. <laughs> you wouldn't buy the nonsense about the fairness of time when you reach my age. It actually feels different between those who keep their eyes shut and those who keep theirs open. Likewise, those who kill never share the same feeling with those who are killed. This is also true between those who have enough food to eat and those who are starving. All right, that's it. I've talked enough. Now get up, darling, and brush the sand off yourself. Trust me, you will find your own answer to this era. Yes, all is well. Those dolphins sent us to the other side of the currents. And one more thing, Captain, and I'm asking this with no ill intention. Uh, may I know your lineage? Thank you. I wish your next mission would be trouble-free too. The members of the Razor Squad are all humans. It's clear then. 
Real numbers refer to arcanists, and imaginary numbers mean humans. Then what is the rest of this nonsense? Suneto, Vertin, and this apple are integers. While Miss Lilia and I are fractions. Don't bother asking. I'm pure blood. This apple is also made of pure apple juice. I only consume 1.5 volt DC. So it's not determined by our lineage, or Regulus would have been an integer too. So why on earth am I the irrational number? Why only me? Oh, unfair! I demand the ruling to be changed. Shut up. We grappled hard to get you on this island. So you have no choice but to stay in the worst guest room. Do you call this a guest room? A cell more like? Perhaps this piece of news will cheer you up. We are prisoners in the world, and our body is the cage of the soul. Oh, cut me a break. Might as well play us some rock music. Hmm. Seems the residents on this island venerate integer numbers. And irrational numbers, while well, the non-terminating, non-repeating decimals, cannot be represented as the ratio of two integers, hence they are discriminated. No, no, no! Who are they to judge and decide me to be the irrational number? I... I was the only person who didn't cause any damage to the Foundation in the previous protest! Oh, why do I get to have the worst of both worlds? I've requested information from Ms. Moisson about Apiron, but it will take some time for the files to come in. The captain of the Razor Special Operations Squad told me this might be a settlement of a group of Arcanists who have been long cut off from the world. Unlike other unregistered Arcanists, these people chose not to live alongside the humans. They still lead an ancient Arcanist way of life and follow the old customs. We must be meticulous when getting in touch with them. But they used modern mathematical terms. And that girl talked about Caprica. He was an Indian mathematician, active in the first half of the 20th century. I think they are not living in complete isolation. They are still in contact with the outside world. This place wouldn't be affected by the storm, just like the Elitial base, Foundation headquarters and my suitcase. The travel notes in 1999, Manus Vindicte showing up in Elitial's base. The storm, or emanation, they must be somehow connected. And we'll find our answer here, I think. Very energetic, Capitan. By the way, how come nobody is here to welcome us? They wouldn't suddenly decide to detain us all just because we have an irrational number here, right? I'm with you all the time. Six asked me to welcome you. Oh, scared me again. What were you doing hiding in the corner? Because it seemed you were in the middle of proving a conjecture. According to the scripture, disturbing others when they are giving proof of their arguments is as sinful as eating beans. I don't want to be bound to the rocks of the Caucasus Mountain and have vultures eat my eyes after my death. Eating 
Beans? Eating beans is the sin of sins. The biggest, worst, and ugliest crime. People eating beans will never transmigrate. They deserve nothing but eternal punishment. What? Are you serious? Is this rule only for soybeans? What about broad beans? Snow peas? Chickpeas? And what does it say about other bean-based products? Beans are beans. <laughs> You're funny. This doesn't even make sense. By this logic, aren't the coffee drinkers going to rot in hell? I happen to have a box of coffee beans in my bag. If I put one coffee bean in my mouth, will the vulture get me right away? No way! Oh, easy mate. Do you want to get physical? This pirate is not scared of you. <laughs> That's not fair! The critters are coming to your aid! This is not good. We need to separate them. Recognize me? What about now? Time to check my calculation. Rational. It could be found. Given that. Do the seeds. Aha. Oh, it's a bubble. Ta-da! Time for a special massage. What's oh, troublesome? No worries, relax. It could be found. Please, don't resist. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, it's a bubble. Demonstration. Yeah, I know. Welcome to the world of numbers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> need me to get you guys an ambulance? I smell the scent of mental Ladies and gentlemen, this is no magic, nor any special kind of mechanism. Wish us. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be shy, mi amigo. Let's dance. Are you a rational member? Ta-da! Time for a special massage. <laughs> Intentarlo de nuevo? They are much naughtier than the Foundation's kids. A 
dog? Oh, Martin! Sonetto! Lilia! Get her off me! Oh. Oh. <gasps> what is going on here? 37, let go of the guest's head. Now. Sorry that I'm late. I'm Sophia, the corrector of Apiron. I will take over from here. Oh, finally! We have an ordinary person here. Please, let's talk on the way to the outside. We believe everything can be translated into numbers. Things are made up of numbers, and mathematics is the key to opening the gate of truth. It is like the fire that lifts us from the darkness. This world may decay in time, but numbers will transcend the limit placed for all other things in existence. And if one can take up the challenges and improve oneself with practice, they may clear their thoughts and find out their truth. That is, to find out the number of their soul. Oh, this is more like a place for proper conversations. Broad, open, as vast as the high seas. Hold your horses, Miss Regulus. If you were to speak of consuming beans again, I will have no choice but to send you into the depths of the sea. <sighs> fine, fine. I haven't done anything yet. Miss Sophia, could you please repeat all the taboos on the island? It was too dark in there. I didn't take them all down. Worry not, Miss Sonetto. I have them all recorded. One, abstain from beans. Two, do not pick up what has fallen. Three, touch not a white rooster. Four, do not poke the fire with swords. Five, do not jump over a crossbar. Six, do not cut wood on a main road. Seven, do not enter the hall in new garments. Enter the hall from the right and leave from the left. Eight, do not keep swallows around your house. Nine, do not sleep on a grave. Ten, 
Make the bed as soon as you wake up, leaving no imprint of your body. Hmm. What strange obsessions are these? Even the police in London would be less officious. This is an archaic arcanist group we're dealing with. I assume they have their own reason for these. But, but what, what else are we going to do if we can't pick up the things on the ground? Just let it rot? Oh, this doesn't even make sense. <sighs> you are indeed an irrational number. Huh? What about me? Though I can't identify the exact number of yours, it's never too hard to tell the number types. Like you, you are a very typical irrational number. Irration numbers are disobedient, sometimes unreasonable, and they hardly play by any rules. Just like the non-terminating random numbers following its decimal, these numbers are the floating points, or the noises. People of this type are the random ones whose actions show no pattern whatsoever. Disobedient, unreasonable, never play by the rules. So that's what their judgment is based on. Oh, she even gets the rock and roll part right. Stop pulling my leg. This pirate will not so easily be defined. What about you? What's your number then? I'm still learning. My time to reveal my number has not come yet. Oh, you don't know? Well, I can help you with that. You are an irrational number too. Ouch! What is this? Um, a grape? Perfect parabola. Oh, it's you again. I won't be bettered in a fight this time. Thirty seven. Shouldn't you be off preparing for the doctrinal meeting? Six asked me to take care of our guests. But I'm usually the one who receives the guests. Engaging with strangers might be a little difficult for you. There's no causal link in these two events. People always bother you with trifles only because you're fine with it. Do not sleep on a grave, and do not cut wood on a main road. Idleness is the cause of the breakage of one's flesh and soul in the long journey of perfecting oneself. Those who have not yet found their numbers have even fewer excuses to be indolent. Besides... <sighs> Why would you place the head of a guest in your mouth? She said she's going to eat beans. That does not justify your action. Come to think of it, is she safe to bite if she had consumed the beans? Wouldn't that make you the bean eater as well? The right way to deal with this is to throw the offenders into the sea. Let the Gorgon current take them and confine them in the ever-repeating circular motion. Oh yeah, this is the most optimal solution. How come you didn't think of it? This is one of the most basic set problems. Uh, hello? Are we done with the chit-chatting? Conspiring to my face to throw me in the sea. Mind you, this pirate's tolerance has limits!
<laughs> right in the bullseye. What? What's that look on your faces? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. I didn't start this. Regulus, did you just pick up the grape that 37 threw at you earlier from the ground? Did you just violate the rule of not to pick up what has fallen? What? Get down! Abraxas incoming! It will take the offenders with it! Uh, a chicken's head and two snakes is a feet. What? What on earth is that? This is not good. They seem dangerous. Regulus, come to my side! Shall I ask the enemy for their tactics? Who ate beans? I hear something. Even that. Oh? Agents have guns. It's called common sense. Uh huh. Professional. It could be found. I hear something. Radio waves are everywhere. Agents have guns. It's called common sense. It will all be fine. Whose heart is beating so loud? Relax. I smell the scent of mint oil. Radio waves are everywhere. Everywhere. Don't resist. <laughs> Retreat! Oh, what? I can't make the call? Here's something. We should listen to what people say. A perfect argument. Talking out calms people down. Secrets always hide in careless words. Listen carefully. Are you a rational member? I'm the support staff. The final demonstration. Bill's heart is beating so loud. Welcome to the world of numbers.
legends have guns. It's called common sense. No one is. Who's hot? I hear something. I smell the scent of mint oil. Talking out calms people down. Hmm. It could be time. Relax. Even that. Time to check my calculation. Hey, don't resist. They are much naughtier than the Foundation's kids. Regulus! Captain! I can't leave her alone. This apple shall follow her. Toast to Regulus. To her ever fighting spirit of breaking away from jails no matter how many times she has been put behind bars. Luckily, she didn't have any beans. May her soul be cleansed in the dungeon. What a mess. Ena eftegramot mima. Simatizate otan enosume diosimia. <gasps> Timekeeper, did you see that? The arcane skills cast by the congregation on this island are very different from those we have seen. Mr. Apple is with Regulus. She won't be in danger for now. Let's follow Sophia. We have wasted too much time on unnecessary matters. Miss Furton, this is the place you've journeyed to visit. The Hall of Apiron. This is where we share our knowledge of Numa, which is also the storm you've been referring to. Before you enter the Great Hall, please place your right palm on the stone and swear to it solemnly. I wish to be baptized in the water of Gnosis and be rid of the long darkness of ignorance. I ask my tongue to be taken, for it has spoken mindless words, and I shall stay silent for the truth. I choose to leave the fragments of matters behind me and enter the great hall of forms as clean as a newborn. I swear to let matters stay in the world of matter and a form in the world of forms. I swear to reveal no secrets or my heart shall be taken by the vulture, my body consumed in flames, my soul trapped in the endless wheel of birth. Now, knock three times on the stone. Put on these ceremonial dresses. That'd be all. Remember to enter the hall from the right and leave from the left. You are the humblest audience here. 
hence not allowed to speak. Please, stay quiet, and keep the secrets you heard at heart. I will arrange your meeting with Six after this. No problem. Miss Sophia, could you give us some privacy? Please, enjoy. I have nothing more to say. Vertsen, are we really going to do this? That oath we have to make to enter the hall sounds vicious. To stay quiet and keep the secrets. It's similar to the training we once received. I can go inside on behalf of Timekeeper. No, I'll come with you, Sonetto. But... I can't sense any sign of arcane skill on this stone. The oath is more of a formality than a curse. The warning is lifted then? But when Sophia repaired the floor in front of us with her arcane skill, there's no fluctuation of arcane power either. I can't even sense the slightest signs. It's either a kind of arcane skills we're not able to detect, or the moment we stepped onto this island. We've been trapped in a tremendous ritual. That's to say, any arcanum used on this island is only a part of this giant flow. We don't know where this flow is leading us. We know nothing about it. It's too perilous, Timekeeper. I know, Sonetto. But as long as we obey their rules, we won't get into other trouble. The doctrine of the Aperon is to live in solitude and seek nothing but the truth. In fact, they've never been aggressive towards us. <laughs> I think of this differently. Think, the pure blood arcanist community, the unknown arcanum power, and the obsession with certain knowledge or identity. Sound familiar? Yet, we haven't spotted any traces of the manas here. Manas Vindicte is like the rat living in the gutter. I don't think they will let go such a favorable chance. Which means, we need to find out the truth. I believe in Timekeeper. I have zero interest in this meeting. I'll stay outside to keep a lookout. Take care. I wish to be baptized in the water of Gnosis and be rid of the long darkness of ignorance. I ask my tongue to be taken, for it has spoken mindless words, and I shall stay silent for the truth. I choose to leave the fragments of matters behind me and enter the great hall of forms as clean as a newborn. I swear to let matters stay in the world of matter and a form in the world of forms. I swear to reveal no secrets. Or my, my heart, heart shall be taken, taken by the vulture, my body consumed in flames, my soul trapped in the endless wheel of birth. Fellow brothers, sisters, our quest for Gnosis had suffered three unprecedented crises. First was the discovery of irrational numbers, and then the creation of imaginary numbers. Last was the loss of the grand unification of different lineages. The truth was buried, and history was rewritten. 
But the emanation is not a crisis. Instead, it's our last salvation. The supreme existence has once again shown itself to us. The door to the everlasting transcendent world of forms has opened once again. As Numa pours down, things are rewound to the world of light. Everything in the world of matter breaks into pieces, for they are as delicate as a petal before it. We, who have the honor to witness the emanation of Numa, have the privilege to survive the turning of the wheel of birth. Because we know the truth. Our survival is destined. It is the beginning of a mission to bring the unseen truth into this world. Thank you. The next orator is 37, our smallest irregular prime, and the brightest star of Hermes. The emanation in 1929 only lasted for two days. All methods to calculate the Numa emanation failed. We found no pattern in the occurrence of time reversal. All our efforts in the past four years have gone completely wasted. That's the end of my speech. Sereno, intenso ed infinito. Shh. Who did that? Who broke the silence? <gasps> Sorry, Timekeeper. I just get ready to run, Sneto. The Abraxas is a coming. I'm here for a worn two. This is what's been practiced countless times. No wingman is needed. Finally, some interesting work. I hear something. Don't be so furious. Radio waves are everywhere. Everywhere. Uh. Hey, I'm the support staff. My sword shot. Whose heart is beating so loud? I believe in you. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Radio waves are everywhere. Radio Sereno intenso ad infinito. Relax. 
No worries. My sword sharp. Please, don't resist. Thank you for your cooperation. Lenny Acelero, Intenso Ad Infinito. Here's something. We should listen to what people say. Talking out calms people down. I know the moon, and this is an alien city. Secrets always hide in careless words. Listen carefully. Just beating so loud. We need some peaceful moments. Depict the world I have never seen before. Talking out comes to go down. Each moment, now night. I believe in you. It will all be My sword fine. shot. I know the moon. And this is an alien city. Come back to me. Sempre caro mi fu questermo cole. No I believe in you. Sempre caro mi fu questermo cole. For tomorrow. A sword shot. Agents have guns. It's called common sense. Stay low profile. 